EPRUL's portal includes several powerful interconnected modules. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure actions and conditions for the EPRUL's Business Rules Engine. I'll give you a cursory look at the action and condition activities. Note that it is important to view this video before checking out other videos in the AppRules Business Rules video library. You can use the AppRules Business Rules module for composing powerful business rules projects, which include actions, conditions, evaluators, decision tables, rule sets, and more. I'll be showing you how to do the following. Add the Business Rules module to the toolbox. Create a business rules project. Configure actions. Configure conditions. And I'll also show you how to run and monitor a business rules job directly. First, let's add the business rules module to the toolbox. Open the base node, select app rules, and reset the toolbox. As you can see, the business rules module activities have been added to the toolbox. The Business Rules module used in conjunction with hundreds of connectors is one of the key features of the AppRules Portal solution engine. Now, let's create a new project for our demo. At an atomic level, actions and conditions form the core of the AppRules Business Rules module. All activities in the Business Rules module utilize actions, conditions, or both. So, before exploring the more complex Business Rules activities, you should take some time to review and understand AppRule's actions and conditions. As you can already guess, actions do something. In short, actions are activities or code that are executed with no restrictions on the execution result. Conditions, on the other hand, are activities or code that must return a Boolean result. Conditions must return true or false. I'll go ahead and drag an action activity onto the designer. Configure the action settings. You can select the action from one of the categories including primitives, execution, machine learning, and data source. Let's configure the action from the data source category. Open the databases node. Open the SQL Server database. Finally, let's select the initialize source action and configure the properties. We have just created a powerful action without writing any code. Now, let's follow the same process to show how to add a condition. Drag a condition activity onto the designer. Configure the condition settings. You can select the condition from one of the categories including primitives, execution, machine learning, and data source. Let's configure a condition from the primitives category and select a date, time. Select and configure the date, time value has data condition. We have just created a condition without writing any code. Since we have two activities on the designer, let's go ahead and connect them. Now let's add the if activity from the control flow module. We will write a message to the log if the condition result is true, and write a different message if the result is false. That completes our very simple project to demonstrate how to configure actions and conditions in AppRules Portal. You can deploy your AppRules Business Rules projects to be accessed as web services throughout your company. For this demonstration, I'll go ahead and run the project directly. Go to the App Rules Portal Monitor to see all running and completed jobs. And we can also view the project run details. Thank you for watching this introductory App Rules Portal video. The App Rules Samples Project Database includes more advanced business rules examples. For more information, please visit our website at appstrategy.com.